Chapter 678, Blood Fiend Sex Sincerity Qin Lai was not skilled in stock taking. Let me help you. Song Tin said, her face glowing. She was clearly in a good mood, her eyes betraying her excitement. Anyone could see with a glance at the smile on her face that she was in a very cheerful mood. You're skilled in things like this. Qin Lai asked with a smile. Back at Profound Heaven Alliance, Tinu helped me stock take the resources of the family. She has astounding talent in this area. You do not have to worry, Song Nu added with a smile. Sister Tinu really does know how to manage resources, Zi Jingsun added softly. Qin Lai's eyes lit up slightly. All right, you can go and see how much resources Flaming Sun Island has right now. Steering a crystalline war chariot, Song Tinu laughed as she descended down towards the towers of Flaming Sun Island. Let's go to that island. Mo Hai pointed at the island where the ancient elite remains were stored. Qin Lai nodded with a smile. This island is gray. Let's call it Grey Island, Tang Siki said softly. Looking down from the sky, they found that no plants could be seen covering the island and even the sand was a grey-brown color. All right, Grey Island, Qin Lai said. Tang Siki had a happy expression and she happily took the people from Armament Sect along with Mo Hai and Leonor to Grey Island. I'm going to Lang Zi. Controlling the crystalline war chariot, Qin Lai turned into a cold streak of glowing light that shot towards the island where Blood Spear was. Song Yu and Zi Ye Oang on Zi Jingxun's crystalline war chariot looked at the setting sun islands. They looked at a gathering of Blood Fiend Sex martial practitioners, as well as where the Xing family of Gold Sun Island was. They were inwardly calculating something. It seems that we still underestimated Qin Lai. Zi Ye Oang suddenly sighed. Song Yu thought for a moment before nodding. I hadn't expected that he would have his own land here already. This boy is really good at making trouble. Zi Ye Oang said in praise. As expected. Extraordinary. Song Yu agreed. After Hong Bo and the Blood Fiend Ten Elders finished explaining, he left Flaming Sun Island. He directly landed where Mol and I, Mo Jun and the others were gathered. How was it? Seeing him return, Mo Jun's expression changed. He stood up straight and looked with a burning gaze at Hong Bowen. Mo and I and the others from the Blood Fiend Ten Elders also looked at Hong Bowen. I told him what I needed to. I don't think I missed anything. Hong Bowen's expression was strict. Blood Fiend Sect has shown our intentions. I saw that Qin Lai was very surprised. He should be very happy with our arrangements. However, after a pause, he continued. Isn't the price too high? The others of the Blood Fiend Ten Elders also had expressions of pain as though a piece of their flesh had been cut off. Blood Fiend Sect had used almost a hundred experts and a lot of limestone to build over the three islands. They had given Qin Lai almost half of the crystalline war chariots, ships, large-scale flight artifacts, and resources that they had recently obtained from Black Voodoo Cult, and the three families as well as the spirit materials, stones, and pills they obtained from Heavenly Sea Pavilion and Black Cloud Palace. At this time, almost half of their gains were piled up on Qin Lai's three islands. For Blood Fiend Sect that had not been in their best state these past thousand years, the materials were very important. Giving away half of them came with a great pain to them. Not even half of our wealth is equal to one arm of the progenitor, Molinai said serenely. Everyone immediately felt better. Compared to the body of the blood progenitor, the spirit materials they had obtained recently were not much. Also, Kin Lai deserves it. Molinai looked at the ten elders and said coolly, without Kin Lai's help multiple times, blood fiend sect would not have been able to establish themselves at the setting sun islands, much less publicly come out. It was him that let us stop hiding and leave the shadows. This alone is worth more than these spirit materials. Everyone nodded inwardly, even now, without the eight god corpses in the sea. We would not have the ability to protect ourselves, Mo Linai said. Mo Jun and Hong Bowen all had thoughtful expressions. The reason we gave three islands to Qin Lai was for him to have a land of his own, a place he can call his home. With that I hope to keep him nearby. Li Mu of Heavenly Sword Mountain or Forefather Terminator should be able to give him better conditions. Soon, he will go to Terminator Sect. If he sees the strength of Terminator Sect and its wealth, and he is persuaded by Forefather Terminator, it is very likely that he will become a disciple of Terminator Sect, a direct disciple of Nanzingshan. If that's the case, then what can Blood Fiend Sect use to keep him? Mo and I asked the group. Mo Jun and the others gradually realized, we gave him a place that he will think about, something he cannot give up. This is how he will be able to resist the temptation of Terminator Sect. Flaming Sun Island belongs to him. Those people from Armament Sect, Blood Spear, Lang Zi, his female friends, they will feel they belong to Flaming Sun Island. They won't leave, and so won't he. Mo and I's eyes flashed with intelligence. Sister-in-law is extraordinarily intelligent. Mo Jun was convinced. Hong Bowen and the others couldn't help but feel respect. There is something you have to understand. Molinai sighed softly and said, Today's Blood Fiend Sect is not the Blood Fiend Sect of a thousand years ago. At this moment, today, if Qin Lai left Blood Fiend Sect, his future would be even better. We, however, can't go on without him. I hope that you can understand it. Understood. We all understand. Sister-in-law, your foresight is amazing. The group praised sincerely. Qin Lai has come. A Blood Spear Martial Practitioner saw Qin Lai appear on the Crystalline War Chariot and called out to notify Lang Zi. In a remote cultivation room, Lang Zi was half-naked as he soaked himself in viscous blood water. The pores on his body looked as though they were breathing regularly. The room was shrouded in bloody energy. The stench of blood was nauseating. Two bloody red snakes of tangible blood energy came out of Lang Zi's eyes. Hearing that Qin Lai had arrived, Lang Zi stood up, stabilized blood energy of his body and retracted his bloody aura. Walking out of the blood pool, he put on a rough ham probe, opened the door and allowed Qin Lai to enter. Lang Zi exclaimed softly and looked strangely at Qin Lai. His bloody eyes flashed with intimidating light. 
Kin Lai's hairs rose on end as he was being stared at. He asked in puzzlement, What? Is something wrong? Boy, soak in the blood pool. Lang Zi suddenly said, This blood pool? The one you used to cultivate? Kin Lai was shocked, Yes. Lang Zi said, Kin Lai's expression changed slightly. He thought for a moment and then said, All right, I'll try. Lang Zi was already in the late stage of the fulfillment realm and was preparing to ascend to the fragmentation realm. After he came to the Setting Sun Islands, he had followed Blood Fiend Sect in their campaigns. All of the Blood Fiend Ten Elders had nothing but praises for him and thought that Lang Zi's talent surpassed Zhu Li's and reached the height of the First Sect Master of Blood Fiend Sect. Lang Zi definitely had outstanding traits to be recognized by all of the Blood Fiend Ten Elders. His personality, intelligence, and talent were all outstanding. It was only natural that the blood pool he used for cultivation was similarly extraordinary. Slowly, sinking bit by bit, do not absorb the blood water from the pool too quickly. If you feel uncomfortable, immediately stop and block your pores. Get a feel for it. Lang Zi reminded. Qin Lai nodded. Taking off his top, he slowly moved towards the enormous blood pool. His feet entered first from the stairs to the blood pool and the water washed over his feet. A strong burning feeling immediately spread through his feet as though there were hundreds of insects stabbing into the pores of his feet and trying to burrow into his feet. That burning and piercing pain caused his body to shudder. How is it? Lang Zi's expression was serious. Without answering, Qin Lai focused for a while with a frozen expression to carefully feel the changes in his feet. Bloody bubbles of the boiling water continued to pop. There was clearly a fire source like the fiery solar jade under the blood pool that boiled and activated the blood water. The boiling blood water was so hot that the great majority of fulfillment realm martial practitioners would immediately jump out after touching the water. Other than the high temperature, the blood water was also mixed with many different kinds of corrosive medicinal fluids that were not tolerable to normal people. Lang Zi thought that even genuine members of Blood Fiend sect would most likely have a difficult time withstanding the refinement of the bloody water and the blood pool if they were in the fulfillment realm. However, after the initial shudder, Kin Lai seemed to quickly adjust and started to walk along the stairs into the blood pool. Shock appeared on Lang Zi's face.